In this video, we are going to learn how you can create proposals on form submissions and add to ClickUp as task. So the idea here is that you have created a form using your Google Forms account and you have shared that form with your clients. Now you want that whenever client fills the form and you receive the response, automatically using the details of the form submission, first a proposal should get created into your Brater Proposals account as per the requirement of the client and then the same proposal should be sent via email to the client okay and then using the details of the form submission a new task should get created into your ClickUp software application also so that your team can work upon the task for that you need to integrate google forms with better proposals and then with gmail and you have to just integrate ClickUp also so here you have to integrate all these software applications using pably connect so how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen so welcome back to my screen here let us type p-a-b-b-l-y pably.com in our browser. This is the website of Pably. Here we have to come to products and click on Pably Connect. This is the landing page of Pably Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get free task every month. If you are already a user of Pably Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, Come to Pably Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pably Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Create Proposals on Form Submission and Add to ClickUp as Task. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pably Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever the form is filled, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new proposal should get created for the client and after that a task should get created for your team members. For that, first we are going to integrate Google Forms with Pably Connect. So just open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google Forms. Select the trigger event as new response received. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Forms. Okay. Now let us read few of the instructions over here. Google Form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Go to the form on which you want to take the submission and make the last question as required for the trigger. So I'll just take you to the Google Form which I have already created. That is Pably integration request form, okay, where I'm collecting the details of the client. That is the first name, last name, his email address, phone number, company name, as well as the requirement, okay. Now, here we have to make the last question as required for the trigger. So, I have made this particular field or the question as required over here. You have to make your last question as required over here, okay. Now, let's move to the responses tab. And here you can see I don't have any responses, zero responses. So first we are going to collect the response by clicking on this I button that is preview. And here let us fill in the details of the customer name as demo, last name as name itself, email address as demo at the rate pablytutes.com. Let's enter a random phone number over here. And here I'm just going to give the company name as ABC Advertising. Okay. And here we have to give the requirement. So let us give the requirement as need a integration for Google Sheets and WhatsApp. I'm just entering a random requirement over here. Okay. And now let's click on submit so the form has been filled now let's move back to the form and here we can see one response is captured and here when we scroll down we can find all the details now as the google form responses are collected in google sheets we are just going to access the google sheet from here by clicking on this three dots and click on select response destination now it is asking us to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet so I want to create a new spreadsheet. So I'm selecting this particular option and the spreadsheet name would be Pably Integration Request Form Responses. If you want to change the name, you can just change it over here. And now let's click on Create. Linking to Spreadsheet. 
spreadsheet is linked. Okay, now we are going to click on this green sign, view responses in sheets. Okay, and here we can see the response in the Google sheet. Here we can find the timestamp, that is the date and time at which the form is submitted. First name of the client, that is demo. Last name as name, email address, phone number, company name as ABC Advertising and the requirement. Okay, so now we are going to link this particular Google sheet with Pabli Connect so that the responses are collected in Pabli Connect. For that, click on extensions, click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect Webbooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed on my system, I'm just going to close this window. But remember, after installing Pabli Connect Webbooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now, again come to Extensions and this time we have to click on Pabli Connect Webbooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the webbook URL and the trigger column. So here we have to paste the webbook URL that we have seen in Pabli Connect. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. We are just going to copy this webbook URL from here and we will be pasting it over here. Okay. Now here it is asking for the trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here you can see that I have the data from column A till column G and I want the data to be captured till column G. So my trigger column will be column G over here. Say if you have the data till column I and you want the data to be captured till column I, then your trigger column will be column I over here. Okay. Now let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay, now let's click on submit. Setup configured successfully. Okay, now let's close this window. Now again, we have to come to extensions, Pabli Connect Webbooks and this time click on send on event. So why we are selecting this option? Just because next time whenever the form will be filled and the details will be captured in, in this particular Google Sheet, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the data. We don't have to link this data again and again. So make sure you have a tick mark on the send on event option over here. Okay. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect and here when we scroll down, we can see that the responses received and all the details of the form submission are captured over here. We can find the timestamp, we can find the first name as demo, last name as name, his email address, phone number, company name, requirement of the client, okay? And here we can find the even the sheet details also, the spreadsheet name and the sheet name and other details. Okay, so now we want that using these details, automatically a new proposal should get created into our better proposal account. So let's scroll down, come to this action application and here choose the application name as better proposals. Select the action event as create proposal with a new contact. Click on connect, click on add new connection and now it is asking for the API token. Log into your better proposals account and you can find or generate your API token from here. So I'm just going to click on this hyperlink. And here we can find the API key. So I'm just going to copy this API key from here and I'll be pasting the same over here to create a connection. And now let's click on save. And now the better proposals account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my better proposals account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your better proposals account. Now here we have to give the company name for which we want to create a proposal. So we have already received the company name from the trigger response over here, that is ABC Advertising. So we will be mapping this company name now. For mapping, simply click it over here, come to Google Form Responses, and from here we have to just select the company name from the dropdown, okay? Now here we have to select a template. So if you have already created a template for any of the proposal, you can simply use that template over here. So I have already created a template that is software development in my better proposals account. So I'll be using the same over here. Okay. And I don't want to include the tax percentage in my proposal. So I'm just keeping it as no. And if you want to mention some tax name, tax amount, you can just give it over here. Now it is asking for the recipient first name. So here we'll be mapping the first name of the client that is demo. Here we'll be mapping the last name. In the same way, let us map the email address. And now it is asking for eligible to sign. So I'm just keeping it as yes. And here, uh, we have to just give the currency code over here, okay? For example, USD. So as I am in India, I'm just giving the current currency code as INR, okay? And now let's click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the response has received. It means a new proposal is created into a better proposals account. Let's check it. This is my better proposal dashboard. From here, we'll be moving to the documents section. Okay, and here we can see a new proposal created for ABC advertising. And here we can find the created date as today's date that is 30th of August. And here we have got the proposal value also. Okay, so now we want to share this proposal with the client on his email address. So we are just moving to public connect once again. Click on this plus sign add action step and we are going to send it via email. So here I'm just going to select the application name as Gmail. Select the action event as send email. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Gmail. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to public connect. So I'm just going to choose my account to connect and here it is asking public connect wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue to give away the access over here. Authorization successful. Okay. And now the Gmail account is connected to public connect. Now here we have to give the recipient email address to whom we want to send the mail. So here we will be mapping the email address of the uh, client that is demo at publitudes.com. Okay, if you want to mention some CC or BCC email address, you can just give it over here. Here we need to give the sender name. So I'm just going to give it as Pabli Connect. And uh, let's scroll down here. We have to give the email subject. So let us give the email subject as proposal sent. Okay, I'm just giving a random email subject over here. Now here we have to select the email content type as plain. And here we have to give the email content. Enter the email content over here. That is the message you want to send to the client via mail. Okay. So here I have drafted a mail content. Dear. After that, I want the name of the customer or the client to be displayed over here as demo. And the last name also name. Dear demo name. It was a great to chat about your new project and to discuss how we can work together. I have processed our conversation and created the proposal here. It's clear that you're searching for the partner that understands you, your businesses and your needs. And I believe that's us. We are experts in integrating with every business we work with. We would like to arrange a call or meeting to explain more about your proposal. Proposal link regards Pabli software team. So in this way, I have generated a message. You can draft a message as per your requirement over here. And here we want to give the proposal link also. So we have already got the proposal link from our previous step that is uh, better proposals over here. Okay. So when we scroll down in the response, we have got the proposal link as data preview. So we will be mapping this particular link now. Okay. For mapping again, come, come over here and we are going to simply come to better proposals and let us map, map the data preview link over here. Okay. Now, if you want to mention some other attachments, you can just give the file name over here and you can just give the attachments over here also. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means the mail has been sent. And here in the response also, we can see the result status as sent. So let us check the Gmail address of the client. And here we can see mail received from Public Connect. And here we can find proposal sent. And here we can see uh, the mail as dear demo name and here we have got the message and here we have got the proposal link also. Okay. And here we can see that this proposal is created for ABC advertising and it is shared correctly. Okay. Now let's move back to public connect. Now we want to create a task using all these details for that. Click on this plus sign add action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as ClickUp. So I want the task to be created in my ClickUp account. Here we have to select the action event as create task. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now it is asking for the API token. Log into your ClickUp account. Click on the profile icon at the bottom left corner and go to the apps. You can find the API token. So I'll just take you to my ClickUp account. On the left hand side, we can find the profile icon. I'm just going to click on it. And from here, we have to just click on apps. And here we can find the API token. So I'm just going to copy it. Let's move back to public connect and we have to paste the token over here to create a connection. Now let's click on save. And now the ClickUp account is connected to public connect just because I was already logged into my ClickUp account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your ClickUp account. Okay. Now here we have to select the workspace name. 
So here I have already created a workspace that is Ashi's workspace, which is automatically captured. So from the dropdown, you have to select your specific workspace name. And here you have to select the space name. So as I have created some spaces over here, I'll just take you to my uh, ClickUp account also. And from here, I'll just click on the main page. And here you can see my spaces that is connect, pably, modifications, junk. So all these spaces are captured over here. Okay. So here I'll be selecting the space name as pably. And here also I'll be selecting the same space name as pably. Now in this particular space, I have created some folders and I want a new uh, task to be created in my new integration request folder over here. So I'll be selecting the same folder name over here in pably connect also. Okay. New integration request. Now here we have to select the list name. So here I have already created some list in my ClickUp account that is new request. So I want all the tasks to be created in this particular list name new request. So I'll be selecting the same list name over here that is new request. Now here we have to give the task name. So I'm just going to give the task name as new request from and here I'll be mapping the name of the customer that is demo as well as the last name name new request from demo name okay and here we are going to give the description of the task so let us give the description as details and here i'll be adding all the details that is the email address of the customer after that let us add the phone number of the customer and the requirement of the customer okay and here we'll be mapping all the details that we have got from the trigger response over here okay so come to Google Forms and from here, we let us map the email address. Sorry, we have to map it just front of email. Okay, here we'll be mapping the phone number. Again, come to Google Forms. Here we'll be mapping the requirement. That is a need integration for Google Sheets and WhatsApp. And here I have missed out the company name. So let us give the company name also. Okay. Come to Google Forms and this was the company name. So we have entered all the details. We have given the description also. Now here we have to select the assignee ID to whom you want to assign this particular task. So I want this task to be assigned to Gary. I'm selecting my assignee name over here. Now here if you want to specify some tags, you can just give it over here. You can select the priority from here. So I'm just keeping it as a high priority task. Now, if you want to specify some due date or the start date, you can just give it over here. But here, remember, you have to give it in the timestamp and you can get the time from the date and time format. Okay, the timestamp can be received from date and time format. Okay, I'm just leaving these steps as these are not mandatory. And here we have to select the status as to do task, working task or a complete task. So I want to be a to do task. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a new task is created into our ClickUp account. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our ClickUp account. Okay, and here we can see new request from demo name. A task has been created which is assigned to Gary Monroe over here. Let's open the details. And here we can find the details, email address of the customer, phone number, company name and the requirement. Okay, and here we can see that we have set it as a high priority task. It is mentioned over here. And as we have not specified the due date, it is not mentioned. Okay. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we are going to check this in the real time. As we have set up an automation, this is a one time process. Next time, whenever the form will be filled automatically, a new proposal will be created. It will be shared with the customer or the client on their email address. And after that, a task will also get created into a task management software. So we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the Google Forms once again. And here we are going to fill in the details on the name of some other client or other customer. Let's give the first name as dummy, last name as customer itself. Here we have to give the email address. So let us give it as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com let's give the phone number over here here we have to give the company name so this time i'm just giving it as royal fleet services okay i'm just giving a random name over here okay and here we'll be adding the requirement as need uh, integration 
between HubSpot and uh, let us give it as Google Sheets itself. Okay. So I've given a random requirement also and now let's click on submit. So the form has been filled. Now we are going to check whether a proposal is created and it is shared with the customer on their email address or not. So let's move to the email address of the customer. And here I'll be just moving to the home page. And here we can see that a new proposal is shared. And let's open the details. And here we can see that the proposal is for dummy customer name this time. Now I'm just going to open the proposal details also. Let's open the link. And here we can see that it is for Royal Fleet Services. So a correct proposal is created and it is shared with the customer on the email address. Now let us check our ClickUp account also. We have to just close this task details and we are going to refresh our ClickUp account. Okay, and here we can see a new task created. New request from dummy customer. Let's open the task. And here we have got the details. Name, uh, sorry, email address as dummy at pablitudes.com. Here we have got the phone number. And here we have got the company name as Royal Fleet Services. And here we have got the requirement. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Okay, let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, I'll just minimize the action steps as well as the trigger window also. Okay, so first we have created an integration between Google Forms and Pabli Connect so that whenever the form is filled automatically, the form submission details are captured in Pabli Connect. Then using those form submission details, we have created a new proposal in our Brettle Proposals account. And then we have shared the same proposal with the client on their email address. And then using the details of the form submission, we have created a new task for our team members in the ClickUp account. And in this way, we have created the proposals on form submission and we have added them as a new task in our ClickUp account using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.